Monday of Martin Luther King Jr. weekend and we've been working on demolishing the bathroom and for that reason I, I can't like I, I would have loved to put some makeup on and looked all pretty but really we're just gonna feed hungry people so I am making tacos because I'm so excited to try these these are grain-free taco shells they are um, vegan they are awesome they're made cassava flour avocado oil pumpkin seed meal pumpkin powder sea salt and basilium husk powder whatever that is they taste delicious this whole brand anything you have with this brand I've, I've tried their frozen tortillas they taste amazing too and their chips taste amazing so I'm cooking up for the kids turkey and for me and Tom it's right now a mixture of butternut squash and mushrooms I'm gonna throw some um, onions in there I should have done that first I just didn't know I had onions and I just found them when I was looking for the tortilla shell so now I'm gonna throw the onions in I used half a seasoning packet of the taco seasoning from Trader Joe's on each and then I'm also going to use some of the um, enchilada sauce. I added that to the kids and for my butternut squash and mushrooms and onions soon enough I'm going to use this green chili enchilada sauce. I really like it. It's from uh, Target Target, and uh, super fantastic. We'll serve it all with some fat-free refried beans. The kids will have these tortillas. Doo, doo, doo. They're so delicious, they're so good. And um, and yeah, that's it right now. If I add anything else, I'll let you know. I usually add um, black beans and I add frozen spinach. I think I'm out of frozen spinach. I do know I have black beans, so I'll probably add those. Um, and sometimes, I learned this from my uh, ex-sister-in-law, I either uh, just pour the black beans into the mixture of meat or meatless mixture and it's all one big goop and throw some cheese on it and then they throw it in a taco or I keep it all separate and then they put it in a taco. Uh, we do have some rice as, off as well. So um, as far as the beer selection, I am trying the Hemperer from New Belgium. I am halfway through it and the top of my mouth is itchy and my face is itchy so um, I won't have this again but it is tasting delicious I just am the most fantastically unfortunate individual and I'm allergic to marijuana and all things from the marijuana plant so I'm thinking that this whole hemp situation is probably why my mouth is now so on fire I'm getting a little bit welts and things like that. Now, it happens with lots of other beers too, um, but they tend to be things like uh, Wicked Weed Ale. They have like a pernicious, I, I can't do any of those things. I get like bright red nose, really itchy. Uh, and so there are other beers too that um, either they just are way too floral and because of my allergies, they bother me. Um, but generally, it doesn't slow me down on drinking them. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have another one of these though because I am exceptionally itchy. But I have to tell you, if I wasn't, they are so yummy. Tom's gonna be really excited when he comes home and gets to try one of these. So, really loving this flavor. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It smells does not smell like an IPA. It doesn't even present like an IPA right in the beginning. It just tastes like. Um, gosh, I'm almost thinking like a Molson or Stella or something like that. But then. Sorry, a Molson or Cellar or something like that. But then, all of a sudden, it turns into an IPA on your tongue and it just tastes delicious and it's really hoppy and it's kind of after effects. And uh, yeah, that is a good beer. I could actually um, see kind of crushing those because it tastes so much like a really yummy light lager, but it doesn't have that after finish of a lager. And uh, I don't really enjoy that after I finish the vlogger. It feels like it coats your tongue and it feels kind of gross in your stomach. That's not what's happening. It gets all hoppy and delicious and yummy in your tummy. So that's it. So that's dinner tonight. I'll show you some pictures of it all presented and finished. But um, I don't know. What else would you put in your tacos? Let me know. All right. So, yep. I know. Redness is even more. But I'm done with that beer. I put more spinach into the butternut squash and mushrooms and onions. I have that green enchilada sauce. I have half the packet of taco seasoning 
and it's starting to mush. But mush, you know, usually tastes okay. So I'm sure if I went and did this in the right order and did the onions first, then kind of browned up the, whatever, it probably tastes a little bit better. This is gonna taste just fine. Cause you can't do anything wrong with tacos. Cause in the end, they get covered with cheese. So everything's great. For the kids, also some spinach and some onion. And then got the refried beans getting warm over there. Make sure with the refried beans that you do not have lard in them. So it's really, that's something that they kind of slip into all regular reset fried beans because it tastes delicious. So um, if you really are vegan, keep your eye out for that. Did you guys know, someone told me that they make white flour using something having to do with an animal so it makes white flour not vegan. I cannot be that vegan. That is just another level of vegan for me. I can't, I, don't, I can't do it. I, I don't know, do you do that? Is that type of thing that like, you can't have what, you don't eat white flour because in the process of bleaching the flour, there's an animal product involved in it. Are you that vegan because of your principles? Are you that vegan because of your choice? Are you like me and you're like, wait, what? So let me know. I forgot to tell you, I'm drinking a Dogfish Head 75 minute. I love the 60 minute. I love the 90 minute. So I'm assuming this will taste like something kind of like right in the middle of those two. I mean, it does, actually, it's really, it's very hoppy and fragrant and actually, <clears throat> my nose is a little stuffed up from the um, being a little bit allergic and my allergies kind of getting triggered by the first one. And when I took that sip, it just like, like almost not, not the smell of or the feel of horseradish, but the effect of horseradish, like the, the I don't know, the aromatics of it just kind of whew, went right like kind of through my nasal passage and opened it all up and smells great now this smells like an IPA this is that is all IPA from the second it touches your lips it is hoppy and a little bitter and when it goes it just leaves like this bitter trail down your tongue not a lot of sweetness and I really, really like it. So this is delicious. I'm gonna have to get me some more of that. Tom does not enjoy Dr. Shed at all. Um, so it's really fun because I can't drink Lagunitas. Lagunitas, not only do I like get like the hives and everything, I actually get physically ill because there's just something in it that I'm so allergic to. So when he gets Lagunitas, I get the dogfish head and we go our own ways. Uh, I will say about this dogfish head, they said that um, it was made with maple syrup, which is interesting because the guy who is the head of Dogfish Head went to my boarding school and he was five years older than I am, so we we're on the same reunion cycle. So when I went to reunion, I don't know, however long ago that was, he was there and we had, we have a maple sugaring facility on our boarding school. You, everyone had to have a job and so a lot of people, their job was to produce the maple syrup from our school. And so he, for reunion, had taken the maple syrup for our school and put that into his beer and made a special beer featuring Northfield Mount Hermann's maple syrup. So I'm wondering if this 75 minute IPA is a little nod to that. Maybe he realized how good that was and so now he's using the maple syrup in this IPA. I don't taste it at all, not even a little bit. It tastes delicious, but I'm not, I'm not getting any hints of maple syrup because I wish I were. Like I, you know, maple syrup is one of the main four food groups, right? Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. So, I'm a big fan. But, don't really notice it in this beer, but it, it's still a fantastic beer and I don't know. So it's not, don't let that make you think it's gonna be too sweet or anything. Definitely not. It's hoppy and delicious. So, just in case you don't know, I mean, I don't know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But when your pan looks like that, you don't want to scrub it too hard, especially when it's one of these nice pans that's supposed to keep their coating. Just pop a little water in it, get it to boiling, and then take a really soft um, spatula, definitely not nothing metal, no metal spatulas allowed with these types of pans. And you can kind of just easily lift off all that grime. And that way you're not gonna um, have to scrub too hard, and you're not gonna hurt the pan by scrubbing so hard with something coarse. So maybe you already knew that. I'm sure lots and lots of people do. I am terrible at cooking. I can feed people. I'm just not that great at cooking, right? I, I'm 
you, you, as you can tell, the, the amount of cans I use, right? So, <laughs> but that is something that um, I think my dad or Tommy showed me, and I hate dishes, so it really helps because it's kind of almost all done for you. All right, I just had a bite. It's really spicy. Whew, too spicy for me. So, what I'm gonna do, and this I already did this with the kids with regular cream cheese, but when things are really spicy, just add some cream cheese. This is the best cream cheese. I love the lox flavor. Tom hates it. It doesn't taste like lox at all. It tastes like seaweed or something. Um, the chai flavor is okay. Just get the plain and put some everything with the bagel on top of it when you're using it as a cream cheese. But in our house, it also works as a holy cow. I made that way too spicy. I need to bring it down. So I'm gonna put some um, spoonfuls of this in there and help bring down that spice level. Another really great product on Taco Night, just wanted to make sure you guys knew about this. This is a vegan, organic, creamy cashew fiesta dip, and it is amazing. It's vegan, it's delicious, it's good hot, it's good cold. It, you can just put it on like a face mask and eat it off, it's so good. This stuff is amazing. Don't actually put it on a face mask, that's disgusting. But it's that good. So you can eat it with anything, even a spoon. Okay, so I like it better warm. I love to mix it with a little bit of salsa, put it in the microwave and make a little queso, but I don't know, when you have salsa and cheese together, whatever you wanna call that, I think they call that queso. And it's amazing. I mean, it is a fiesta in your mouth. Whoop, whoop. A fiesta of flavor. Anyways, it is incredible. Yum. So you can include that in your taco night too if you choose. I never did put the corn in for either of the kids. I don't put corn in for me. It doesn't work well in my body. Um, so I did not put it in though and put the kids. The reason being, I was chit-chatting to you. And if it's really loud in the background, I apologize. We are watching um, Cap uh, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Civil War, somebody's Civil War. That's what we're watching. All right, bye. Cream cheese is in, and it is still really spicy. Um, Trader Joe's makes it, they make a taco sauce. It has a picture of an awesome skeleton, just chilling. It is not nearly as spicy. Every time I use their taco seasoning, the kids and I are just like, oh, it's so spicy. Whew. So I prefer that taco sauce. I just didn't have any in the house. So Trader Joe's, it's like a jar that you pour in. It's a taco sauce. So I recommend that instead. The dinner is served. I could not find a way to keep the um, tortillas together. I warmed them up and I think I warmed them too long because then they kind of fell on each other and one half fell out. It's more like a taco salad. I will say when I do hard taco shells with the kids, uh, it always happens as well. So I just somehow cannot operate hard taco shells. So these ones fell apart, but they taste delicious. So I just crumbled them all up, threw a bunch of stuff on top and it's awesome. Right, here we go with the vegan side, vegan cheese, vegan yumminess, some refried beans. Here's the kids stuff. Got the ground turkey and all sorts of other stuff. Their cheese, some tortillas. There we are. And that, folks, is our omnivore dinner. All right. Stay full.